Sniper safe, another counter to Brood. Uh, come mid late game if it comes to ganks. I don't know, this this Cloud9 strat we've seen. A lot of source, a lot of damage, and level 5 would be the point where the Shadow Fiend is very strong. Here comes support! Fissure possibly gonna block the wave here. RTZ needs to get to the high ground or he could be in some trouble here. There's gonna be a Shrapnel to start things off. Fissure gonna block RTZ. Second Shrapnel as well. RTZ in trouble. Third Shrapnel as well. He's blocked. He's waiting for the Fissure to expire. First blood goes your way of Cloud9. Yeah, that was Fata, great. meanwhile, at bottom lane, gonna go down or will he? He's trying to tango through. Buys a TP scroll before he dies. And, well, that's a second TP scroll. He's also got one back at base. And S4 will get the last hit on your axe. First blood, though, claimed by Cloud9. And Big Daddy's gonna pick up the two minute rune in this uh, bottom, but there's a sentry ward. He doesn't know about the sentry ward at bottom lane. He's gonna walk right into this one. They've got the chain stun. They're pretending they don't. He, they don't see him. But there's your first stun. The car's coming in as well. And now S4 gets himself a second. Great play. Pretending they didn't see the invis, and then well, he'll take that one happily. But that gives opportunity. For Arteezy to come in, hasn't got any kind of rune here, but he's going to look for the races onto Bone 7. Gets the first, second one, going to be off the mark here. Bone 7, though, going to look to Quelling Blade his way through. Has a Tango as well. He's running for dear life. He's going to get his way out of this one. Bone 7, making up for some Game 2 misplays, perhaps. Has juked them so far, but here comes your Venge. Wave of Terror as well as a Magic Missile. Bone 7 is not getting out of this one. There's even a Witch Doctor to cut off his paths. Ancients are going to deny him! Are you kidding me? That Wave of Terror dragged the Ancients over, and that is a... Well, Wave of Terror, but I guess they just... Maybe they didn't click him and see it in time, because S4 could have just blinked back to safety. Oh, but middle lane, they're going to go in on RTZ. Blink call, Omni Slash. He has... Pops the mech, he's going to go the Wrecking of Souls. This huge damage, he gets a double kill with the help of Zai. It's actually Zai getting both those two kills from the high ground. Oh my gosh, the Spawn Spiderlings Dagon build. He zaps one, he nukes another, and... Oh, S4 goes for the blind blink crush, misses it, and tower is losing its probably going to look to kind of scout him out a bit more there, but S4 now going to be forced to back off, Assassinate going to push him away as secret, take a tier 1 tower, and going to be pretty happy with all their spoils right now. Oh no, the call, call on two there. Oh my god, what a call, S4 blinks in with a crush, the Aegis going to get popped now, but the Guardian Angel following some puppy on the high ground, his death ward going to be dealt with pretty nicely by the Guardian Angel, and Arteezy going to go for the TP out, he gets stunned by Misery, he's not making his way home, and Arteezy going to go a dying kill onto your axe, but that was a massive overextension, Kuro's positioning there. Well, Brood, meanwhile, actually may get caught out in the Radiant Jungle. Sentua does get deployed and... He's at a very hard position for them to catch him up. Yeah. That's Throws out a nuke here and... If he the... plays his cards right, there's no way to catch him. He's got backup as well. He's going to go in into the Sentua, but here comes Arteezy. He's got the mech support as well if it's needed. Arteezy with a haste room. Misery along the side here, but Misery may walk into a nice echo side. Only catches Arteezy. The chain stun is there. Dust used as well. Arteezy swapped back to safety. Father gets the call though. Down goes Artur. Mr. Babev. He will be seeing a trade here as Jug and Omnet go down on the Radiant side. Zai still getting back to safety. Even cuts through the trees with a nice quelling blade. Korea. Yeah, he completed a BKB. So the game is already progressing. Part Almost close to 30 minutes right now. Oh, Fred, uh, gonna get wow. initiated there. S4 blinks short, and here comes Misery with a counter. Echo Slam looking for the kills. Bata goes for the call, catches out to Guardian Angel as well. Bone 7 now flanking from behind. Doesn't have an Omni Slash for now. Arteezy gets off the Requiem, blows up your axe. Misery now gets cast. It's bouncing between two. Misery may have a repel, but Puppy with the big Witch Doctor right clicks gets that kill. Bone 7's been tracked now by the amp damage. Witch Doctor, Death Ward gonna finish him up. Four dead. Secret find the team fight of a lifetime here. Envy's just off on it. When the sniper was nowhere near, they took a they've, 4v5. Fight. They've got no buybacks, Winter. None of those four dead heroes can. Earthshaker and Omniad about to respawn. S4's, S4 running in deep here. Looking to get the amp damage onto Envy. And Kuro's got the swap. The Fissure now going to come out. S4's taking a lot of damage. He's going to be brought down. Envy making some big plays here. They do. Oh, they don't even get the tier 3 tower for now. Arteezy getting very low. Going to turn and fight. He's got the Aegis. Will get dunked by Fata. They're going to lose Kuro as well. The double dunk comes in from Fata. They're going to maybe kill Arteezy a second time. Nice vision from Misery. Locks him in place. Arteezy, he's done for. He's going to buy his items here, but... What an overextension coming in from Secret. S4 is just... Base defense with... Ooh, C9 going on the prowl. They almost run into Zai there, but he's managed to avoid another gank coming his way. The sniper even included the rest of his team up top. They're going to now run into Zai. He takes some damage to Shrapnel before. They've got he's detection dead. here. 
E-Blade gets used, Zai's still alive for the time being, the Fission now locks him in place, the teammates come up, and here comes S4, Misery goes down, Zai's got the ultimate life still on, but with the GA being used, S4 will be pushed back, he's got the cheese though, and Envy now isolated, he's getting crushed by the physical damage, he's trying to fight his way out of this one, but with the death one, he goes down, here comes Arteezy, onto Fata on the axe, buyback's likely to be forced out here, with Secret having Aegis and Cheese in their hands, they get the kill on the Omni Knight, four dead now on the C9 side, and with tournament life on the line here, C9 need to come up with something big if they want to hold. Uh, that was such a risky move to leave the base. Already oh. lose their career, nothing on it though. They got caught outside of the base against this lineup. It's the power they, of the brood. He just baits them out. They force the other team to try and make a play happen. And yeah, we talk about how C9 have a very good high ground defense, but when they are outside of the map, their advantage doesn't count. And here we go. Here Jumping. we go. Fata with the BKB blink call. Echo slam from Misery does a lot of damage. Down goes the brood on the witch doctor. S4 gonna die as well. Bone 7 coming up big with that Omni Satch. Arteez has got the Aegis, but I've seen this movie before. He dies! The Aegis expired! The exact second he died. I don't think it matters. Probably would have died twice, but still. C9 hold! Cost him a lot of buybacks, Winter, but... What? Bone 7 ready with an Omni Slash. May look to bring down Arteez fast, but the swap save is ready from Kuro. Sniper doesn't have a TP scroll. Oh my gosh, he's gonna walk back, we've seen this one before, Arteezy gets swapped out, the Echo Slam, not enough, Arteezy though, here comes your Omni Slash, they bring him down, SF without buyback, oh, oh yeah. dear, what have Secret done, they've rushed things here, Puppy gonna go down as well, that's three heroes dead, even without the Sniper having a TP scroll, Arteezy just got caught out, the swap team is just gonna be picking up some big tier 4 I, items fairly soon. I think soon. you go for a Diffuser on the, on the Juggernaut at this point, so you can actually take out the, the two supports on the back line easily. Oh, oh, Cloud9, yeah. get the Aegis and Cheese. Okay, Aegis this time is... If he sees some evasion, that's likely to come out. Secret now gonna smoke up, group up together. Something they haven't done much this game. I guess it is still just four heroes with Zai at the bottom lane on that Brood still. Looking to continue to create space. Zai low on funds though, so he won't have a buyback for the upcoming fight. Should Secret take it and... Can he sell his Midas? Yeah, he can actually sell the Midas and buy back. Okay. If he wants to. Hasn't got the reliable gold for it and... We'll see a tower denied here. There's Korea flying over Secret and for the first time actually sitting with Zai, they have got... Oh! The swap gets does not succeed! Envy's Lincoln's blocks it, they're gonna lose the Juggernaut in the meantime. Buyback is available, they were actually looking for Envy there at that raise and... Yeah, it looks like Secret happy to just try and brute force this lane of Rax here. Cloud9, gonna go, oh, swap in on a Bone 7, I haven't got the damage full up. Death Ward is well coming from Puppy, completely out of range. There's your Omni, no, no Omni Slash coming out just yet. DA is there, Arteezy gonna drop the Record Missile, negate some of the physical damage. Fata getting focused down, he has got the GA to back him out. Misery, Blink, Echo Slam, but he gets stunned, focused down. Buyback coming out from your sniper, he's gonna make this hold. Urshaker gonna fight back as well, Cloud9. This is their last legs, they're fighting for tournament life here, they lose Fata as well on the axe. Four buybacks coming out here, Secret have yet to lose a hero. This is looking like a disastrous hold. Oh no. And in the meantime, Brute Mother managed to finish off the range racks in middle, and all that is left right now is the top two racks. They're just gonna go for this one. Arteezy just walks in, has the creep support, Zai looking to create some space, he's maybe just gonna feed himself away, but... Hey, top racks under siege and Bone Seven doesn't have buyback shot of one hundred go. Oh no. They've gotta find some answers here. Mionu gets put onto Fata, he's gonna find the blink call of a lifetime to try and hold this top lane. Same time Secret wanna be a bit careful themselves. Brood has already used his buyback. And C9, knowing they've got to make something happen here. Melee Rack's going to get focused down first. Arteezy just pops a BKB. He will get called. The Sniper focusing Arteezy as well. Arteezy, actually, oh, it's Envy getting abyssal. The Death Lord comes in as well. And Axe has died back. Mega Creeps comes out. Zai gets the Dagon kill on Envy. And there's no Sniper. There's no hope left for Cloud9. They GG out. Secret. Squeak through to the top four of the Dota 2 Asia Championships with a narrow win over Cloud9. A 2-1 victory. Game 2 felt like Cloud9 had it, and Secret pulled something out of the bag. Here in Game 3, it was another tight one, and... Whew. It was a rather sloppy one. Didn't expect a game like this from Secret. They're usually very, very disciplined. Everything was very methodical in the group stages and up to the playoffs, and this game...